and a lot of us are not in very good shape to protect against becoming a part of a botnet. The pernicious thing about this is that um, the guys who do this are very interested in keeping you from being aware of the fact that your machine has been compromised. They're very eager to make use of its cycles without making it obvious to you that that's happening. So, you know, they don't want you to send 10 million emails out of your machine and tie up your uh, access to uh, your internet service provider or slow your computer down. What they want you to do is, to ha is or they want your, their software to just send a few messages out, you know, maybe it's a message every 10 minutes or a message every two seconds or some, some small number. Um, but they, if they have 100 million of them or if they have 10,000 of them and there's a target, that target gets the sum of all of that activity uh, all in one, t one place. Uh, and so they get the effect without being apparent to most of the people whose machines have become part of the unwitting parts of the botnets. Uh, I tried to say earlier today that um, the challenge there is not defending against the um, symptom, which is infected machines. The challenge is trying to design systems that don't let the machines get infected in the first place. 